everyone. My name's Caitlin. I'm a physio here at Anne Strength of Bayside and welcome to another live session. Today's session is going to be again with the foam roller, um, but it's going to be more about mobility. So we're going to be working on stretching and a little bit of strengthening. Um, so what you'll need with you today is a full length foam roller, just like this. If you have a towel handy as well, and if you have a um, yoga block, you can bring that too, but it's not um, necessary. Um, just a note, if you are carrying any injuries, um, just take it easy through the session. If you feel any pain through any of the exercises, um, back off, have a rest, or go back to one of the other exercises. Okay, so to start with, let's get you lying left way along your roller. So making sure you sit right down at the end of your roller and rolling back. You don't want your head to be falling off the end of the roller, so making sure you set up nice and comfortably. And to begin with, we're going to just do some overhead arms. So the closer your feet are together, the harder it is on your tummy. Arms out straight, and you can slowly lift your arms up above your head. And I'm really focus on trying to keep your back flat for this exercise and not letting your rib cage flare. So if you're feeling like your ribs are really lifting up and your back's lifting up, just try and draw your rib cage together and flatten that back down. And breathing. All of you sitting at a computer at home all day, it's really, really important to get this upper back and shoulder area stretched out. And just get really, really secure there, and that will impact your neck as well as your whole back. Let me just find your hand. Tummy muscles. Excellent. Okay, coming back to the middle. Now, what we're going to do is some chest opening. So, we're going to use both hands up and open them. Now, if you are a little bit tight through your chest as well as, so through your pecs and maybe down in your arms into your nerves. You can just drop the wrist back slightly as well as you open out, and that might give you a slightly stronger nerve stretch down the arms. Breathing, opening the back. So same thing with the overhead arms. You want to really make sure that you're not lifting up your back. More also just watch your neck position with anything lying on the roller. If you feel like your chin is pressing you out, just make sure that you tuck your chin back in. If you need to, you can pop a rolled up towel under your head as well. Okay, coming back to the middle again. So now we're going to do some opposite arm to leg. So I want to, yeah, there, there's a few different levels to this. The aim is to be coming out with one arm and leg and through the other. Opening and closing. If you find the full leg extension is too much, you can just do a toe tap. Up and down. Opening. And opening and out. And coming back in. Really trying to engage the tummy as you're doing this. So again, your back's not lifting up. Do three more here. Excellent. 
and changing sides. Engage that tummy. Inhale the strength and fall to the back position. Excellent. Coming back down. So now we're going to do some bridging on the roller. So we're going to do this to really stretch out that lower back. So squeezing through the buttocks, engage the tummy and lift up. You can leave your hands down on the ground. That's perfectly fine. But if you want to, you can also cross the arms across your chest. Up and down. So really make sure that you're also keeping your legs and knees and feet in line. You don't want your knees to be dropping in and touching each other or going out the other way. Try and keep everything like train tracks. Breathing through the legs. Breathing. to get that lower back moving. When you're sitting all day, you get quite stiff all the way along the spine. Let's do two more. Coming back down. So now what we're going to do is some shoulder mobility. Um, so you're going to do some scapular retraction and contraction. So arms up towards the ceiling again. And what you're going to do is reaching those hands towards the ceiling. And then you're going to draw back and open up the chest, keeping the arms straight. So reaching through towards the ceiling and then drawing back. And I want you to feel the movement is coming from your shoulder blades, okay? Not as much your hands moving towards the ceiling, but you're getting your hands are getting pushed towards the ceiling through your shoulder blades coming around your chest. So going up and then back and breathing as you go. So the same thing as with the other exercises. If when you draw back you feel like you're lifting up your lower back, you want to try, you're going probably a little bit too far, you want to try and control that. Breathing, push back and draw back. Push forward, back. So keep that tummy switched on. Five more here. Pushing through to the ceiling and then drawing back down. And you might find that one shoulder moves a little bit smoother than the other. That's pretty normal. Most of us have a side that's a little bit better than the other. Last one. Okay, so now we're going to come up into sitting. So roll up your roller. Come into sitting, and we're going to do some mermaid. Now, for those of you that feel okay in a cross-legged position, you can sit here, and we're just going to come out and across. So your hand rests on your front roller, reaching out, and going back and 
stretching out that side body. If you're struggling sitting on the floor in crossover position, you can sit on a, um, a towel or your um, a yoga block if you have one, sorry. And that will just lift you up a little bit more and that might make it easier. So opening. Nice stretch, so a lovely stretch for your side body, but you also need to make sure that you're switching on your tummy. Just be conscious, you keep going while I'm just going to show you. Um, just be conscious when you are sitting, same thing in your chair at work um, as well as on the floor, that you're not actually tipping forward when you're doing this, because you get quite a different stretch in that position to what you will here, because you're, you're sitting back on your sitting bones, you're going to get your tummy switched on at the same time. So let's do two more that side. Changing sides. Just be aware with this one as well that you are not hitching up your shoulders as you're doing it. You want to really keep those shoulders and neck nice and relaxed, pushing through any strain. Nice position. Same thing as well. One. Fantastic. Okay. Now you're going to come over onto your hands and knees. So if you're comfortable with your wrists, press, um, with your hands resting on the front roller this way, that's fine. If you're not, you can come down onto your elbows. I'm going to start up on my hands. I want you to engage the tummy and we're going to just do some leg extensions. So coming out and in. Just watch your neck position, position in, this, um, in this one that you're not looking straight ahead and extending too much when you're coming up. Just look slightly in front of the foam roller. Make sure the tummy's engaged. Changing sides. So this is good um, for your core, but also for working on that upper back stability. And those muscles that help you sit up straight. Breathing. Good. Coming back, now I'm going to get you to open your knees wide apart, have your heels together, sit on your heels, and roll out into the child's pose stretch. Now, with the foam roll under your hands, you don't have to do this with the foam roller. If you find some people find with their shoulders that this can be a little bit too much, you can just come down and do it on the floor. But the foam roller will give you a little bit of additional upper back extension and extension through those shoulders. So you should get a stronger stretch with your hands in the front. I'm just going to hold that there for a few seconds. Making sure you can breathe. If, if you're in pain when you're doing any of these exercises, you need to back right off. Okay? None of these exercises should be painful. Some of them you might feel like you're working and you get a stretch, but it shouldn't be painful. Good. Okay, coming back up. Now we're going to do a thread needle. So you're going to pop the foam roller on one side of you. You're going to come up into that four point needle again. If you need to, if you really struggle on your wrist, you can go into a fist as well 
and come up onto the floor that way. That might be a bit more comfortable for you because this one, you can do on your elbows, but it's a little bit easier off the couch. So you're going to place the opposite hand upside down on the foam roller and you're going to twist through. Now, if you reach right down, you're going to get much more of a stretch through your whole spine. And I want you to get more of a stretch through the upper back for this one. So engage the tummy and just twisting with your upper back. And coming back up. And up. Again, making sure you're breathing. Let your head go with your movement as well. And just try and stay nice and light through the front. And switching on here. And changing side. So palm facing up again and pushing up. Coming back to the middle each time. Two more. Okay, now I'm going to get you lying on your tummy with your hands on the wall. Okay, so what we're going to do, keep your chin tucked in and we're going to do some shoulder blade, shoulder lifts and rollers. So you're going to lift the shoulder blades up towards your ears and then draw them down away. And down. Now it's not a really big movement, so don't feel like you should be going a really long way here. It's quite a small movement. You need to make sure that your chin stays tucked in. Okay, so you don't want your neck up here. When you're doing that, it's not going to be doing your neck any favours. So breathing, neck. So this is going in a different direction to the one we did lying on your back, one on your foam roller. This is going up and down, the other one is going forward and back. We need all of those movements for our shoulders to be functioning. Just bring the roller a little bit closer to your elbows and we're going to come up into a mini cobble. And down again. If you do not like extension, <laughs> if you know your back doesn't like extension, leave this one out. Okay, and just keep going with some of those shoulder movements. Breathing, coming up. And down. Last one, draw the short blades down and down. And come down. Excellent. Okay, we're going to finish off on your back. So, this one I want you to be really conscious of. If you have a back injury, upper back pain, or you, um, or you have osteoporosis or osteopenia, anything where your bone density isn't um, fantastic, do be very cautious with this one, if not, avoid it completely. Okay? The other thing, if you have any neck pain, be really conscious of your neck position and how much you support your neck in this um, exercise. So what we're going to do is get some upper back extension, so thoracic extension. Um, I want you to find a spot in your upper back. So not having the roller down low, you want it from the back upwards. And you're going to go into a few different positions here. So first up, I want you to support your neck really well with your arms. I want you to engage your tummy. Common issues with this exercise is everyone thinks that if you go all the way back, 
unfortunately, you're not really getting much thoracic expansion, you're actually getting a lot of lower back extension. So set yourself up, get your head resting nice and comfortably in your hands so your front of your neck shouldn't be strained. You're going to engage the tummy, take the breath in, and as you breathe out, just gently relax back into the stretch. So we're just going to get a little bit of extension. If you keep going and you feel your lower back, extend you've gone too far, so come back up again. Once you're there, I'm going to hold that for a couple of breaths. Gonna roll the roller up a little bit higher and same thing. So you can relax your head back into your hands, take a breath in, engage the tummy, and then just come back into some extension. So you want your eyes to go up towards the ceiling again just a little bit as well. Make sure your arms are taking the weight of your head and everything else around you. Watch that your rib cage isn't flaring up too much either. And we're just getting through thoracic or upper back extension. Good. Come back up. One more, a little bit higher. Engage the tummy. And come back down. As I said earlier, any discomfort in this one, please stop and get back to something else. Two more breaths here. Check your rib cage if you need to. Excellent. Coming up. Now we're just going to finish off by rolling out that upper back. Just up and back. Good. Just gently engage the tummy and your glutes. Fantastic. And coming up. All right. I hope you enjoyed that today. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed everything today and you're feeling a little bit better. Please feel free to go back to this session. Um, it'll be available on our webpage as well as our Facebook page. And just keep an eye on our Facebook page for any further sessions.